Hello everyone, Christian here. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can host Everest inside of another app. This allows you to synchronize the loops in Everest to the different tracks you have previously recorded or will record in the future in a larger app like a multi-track app. In this tutorial I'm going to be focusing on the basics of connecting to GarageBand in particular. So let's open GarageBand and you can see here that I've created a song so let's load the song and I've also created a drum machine track and let's have a listen so you can use a metronome as well but the drum machine will suffice for showing synchronization between the two apps so let's actually connect Everest to GarageBand we hit the plus icon and then we load the app from this interrupt audio menu and then we touch the Everest icon to actually connect Everest to GarageBand and you can see that Everest opens automatically now in the upper left hand corner of Everest you'll see the GarageBand icon which if you touch on that will take you back to GarageBand then you'll see the play pause button normally that toggles the play state of the different loops but in this case it will actually toggle the transport of GarageBand and other Interrap Audio hosts and the rewind button next to that which normally resets or restarts all the loops will actually control the rewind transport of the host app Let's make a one beat long loop. Enabling quantize length and quantize start will help. Notice how making edits to the loop and then undoing it does not break the synchronization. Toggling the play pause transport for the host also toggles the play and pause state for all the loops. You'll notice that when we start playing, the loop resumes synchronization, but it's delayed a little bit. That's because we still have quantize start enabled. So if we turn that off, we can still record new loops and they'll be quantized to the host, but unpausing all the loops via the host transport will cause the loops to jump to their respective positions immediately. Now that we've recorded a longer loop, rewinding the transport to the beginning and playing will cause that longer loop to jump to the correct position. It'll actually jump to its best guess as to where you started recording in the host's timeline. This automatic resetting of the loop's relative playback position will also happen if you toggle, play, pause, and rewind from the host application. Of course, you can copy audio from Everest and paste it into GarageBand, or you can record from Everest directly into GarageBand as well. Um, I hope you found this useful, and I'll be talking about those features and more in future tutorials. Thanks. Bye.